when the team came together, we'd all planned to use a beautiful man to headline the Full Winter 13 short film campaign. It was a no-brainer that we were going to use David. We're both British brands and we're both luxury brands, so we knew that we would be using him. We also had David Schwimmer's production company, Dark Harbour, on board the project. I mean, their support and expertise was, was just invaluable. This, for me, is a little bit of a hybrid between something that's narrative on the one hand and something that also gets to showcase something as wonderful as the Beyond the Shoes. Uh, and, of course, doing it within the context of someone like David Gandhi is really fantastic. The idea of the film was to highlight the importance that men give to women's shoes and the emotional attachment that women have to their shoes. From a style perspective, what we really wanted to do was highlight the romantic notion of boy meets girl. Um, play with lighting, play with camera movement, um, really show David, Gandhi coming together with these women uh, in a way that felt organic, uh, felt lovely, felt sexy, felt fun, and um, really allowed us to showcase um, him and the other models, as well as, uh, of course, Beyond the Shoes. It took a long time to set up the lighting for that. Um, but if you see the video, I think it's stunning. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's that first look, the first full scene you get of, of that guy looking in the mirror, the character, and then looking around and, and almost sort of seeing, which you're probably always going to think you know, he's seeing the girl. I would almost like imagine he's seeing the shoe. And the, the woman is part of that shoe, but he's so obsessed with shoes, that's the first thing he sees. The bedroom scene, and uh, it wasn't too shabby. Um, a lot of beautiful women. Of course, he was a little bit, you know, there's a little bit of embarrassed when you, you uh, the men of the, the models and actresses that day for the first time. And, and then they were sort of uh, kissing and cuddling and, 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 and rolling around on the bed. and. Uh, um, I was embarrassed enough, it must have been a little bit difficult for them, and, uh, but I think they did brilliantly actually. We woke up at half past four in the morning, it was pouring down with rain and we had to be on set I think by, by five o'clock, half past five. We were so astoundingly lucky that it just stopped raining. And uh, then we had the, these wet cobbled streets in New York with, with just the taxis you know, coming around and it was, uh, it was a dream scenario. And we were smoking herbal cigarettes, but still at five o'clock in the morning. And you know, it was take after take after take just to get it right. And you know, even the herbal cigarettes take, take their toll after a while. One of the most challenging aspects of working on this film was accomplishing a pretty broad story in a very short amount of time. I created uh, something that rode the line between fashion and narrative beautifully. Really the best part for me was getting to work with folks all the way you know, up and down the chain who are fantastic at their job. Everyone from, of course, David Gandy, David Schwimmer, uh, Timur Svan, our DP, uh, the crew. Everyone was really fantastic and um, the collaboration of really smart, energetic people in solving for yes uh, is really what I think shows at the end of the day in this product. She's using her shoes to get her guy, and she's confident enough to do that. You've got that element of uh, the prey was the girl, but really it was, she's the part that had, you know, that's what you have to do to get to the shoes. So the, the prey was always the shoes, that, that was the underlying, underlying element of it, um, which, is, which is cleverly, you know, cleverly sort of hidden until the end. The unique thing with this film is, is, is nothing is as it seems. And that, that's the clever side to it, the, the uniqueness of it. The conclusion to, to, to the video is, is, is very different to what you've, when, you've, you know, when you first, from the first initial scene. The women that have been wearing our shoes would be Katy Perry, Kristen Ritter, Alice Eve, and Jessica Alba. Our customer turns to us because they want something unique. Because of the handmade element in Milan, the shoes are really super comfortable, even though they're super high, some of them. And they really are standout pieces, so the rest of your dress can be quite plain, but the shoes make the outfit. Viola Castano is innovative, and I think this film is, I think it's, uh, I think people are gonna like it. Mm -hmm.